Hello again, YouTube. This is Dr. Kendo, and I'm back with Mario Kart 8. This is actually for the DLC Pack 1, though, because you can see that we're selecting Link, who is now a playable character, racer, in Mario Kart 8. This is incredible. And so I'm going to use the new Triforce tires, and of course, the Hylian Kite. I mean, why wouldn't I? As far as the cart goes, I'm not positive just yet, but I think we should check out the new ones at least and see their stats because we had the Blue Falcon, the Tanuki cart there, and then the B Dasher. All of them are fast as all get out, and just past all the carts is the uh, Master Cycle, and it is fast as well. It looks uh, pretty incredible, but I'm a more of a cart person on Mario Kart 8, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with the new Blue Falcon, of course inspired by the F-Zero series, and we'll just do three races, whatever. I just want to show you this one race, honestly. Uh, one of the new levels is Ice Ice Outpost. Ice Ice Baby. So we're going to go ahead and show this off. And uh, this is my first time playing it. Um, it doesn't look to be incredibly complicated, though. Um, hopefully, though, I will get the boost right there. Yes, and uh, I was going to say, hopefully, we will not be too in for too many surprises. But I guess a few surprises are all right for DLC. And... Let's see if we can get ahead. I can actually first tell you that the first thing that I'm noticing, of course, is, as you would expect, with this being Ice Ice Outpost, it's very slidey, so your cart is actually going to slide around. I uh, see, I did not mean to do that at all. Um, or maybe it's the Blue Falcon or Link or something that I just don't have great handling right now, uh, but I do believe that it's the level. You know, I'll have to play another one with the Blue Falcon after this. And it looks like they have some boost little sections right there for while you're in anti-gravity, so there is a small strip of anti-gravity at that moment. I gotta avoid the red shell. Okay, we're good. And so, wow, that's actually, it looks to be a pretty short course, I would say, you know, and uh, actually looking there, I didn't even really try to check. Down in the bottom right corner, you know, just above the first place icon, you can see that the map, uh, it is actually kind of a small looking map. I should have looked there first. But after you kind of understand that it's going to be really slip and slidey, you can kind of overcompensate for that. You know, do your drifts early, do them in the correct... Uh, there was a banana there. Do them in the correct uh, place, basically, to anticipate that it will be slippery and slidey around. And so you can kind of go on the green or yellow path, really at any point that it forks like that. You can uh, choose, and they are closely intertwined. So, for instance, right there, I probably could have fallen down to the green part and uh, just been right on that one. And really just be heading in the same direction for the most part. But yeah, the DLC, it didn't really download right away. You know, I had to, for one, you can't usually get the updates and stuff for Mario Kart 8 if you're in the Wii U Quick Start menu. So be sure to go ahead and just start up like normal. Go to the, uh, I guess, the long method. And if that still doesn't really download the things for you, I actually had to go onto one of my other accounts, you know. So, like, I have my Dr. Kendo account and then I have another account, you know. So I had to go onto another one. You just basically want to be connected to the internet, of course. And uh, if you don't succeed the first time, just kind of go out of the game and then try again. For some reason, it worked after that. I, I don't know what's up. I've also seen some people saying that on Reddit. So do whatever you got to do. And hopefully you have no trouble getting it. It takes only about like 10 minutes or so to download it. And then you have to install it, of course, when you're in Mario Kart 8 as well, so that takes a little bit longer. And Link looks hilarious in this cart because uh, in the Blue Falcon he's got to, uh, I guess, sit kind of scrunched up. You know, he's got some long legs. But overall, I mean, I love being able to race as Link and that they added in some new stuff, so be looking out for some more DLC commentary coming up. So I'll catch you on the next vid, and thanks for viewing.